I would like to check the behavior of double negation in JavaScript from now on. To check the behavior, I've prepared three variants, the object, the undefined variant, and the null variant. For each variant, I will check the result of value without negation, value with single negation, value with double negation. Let's check the result in the browser's console log. This is the result. In the case of object, double negation value is true. On the other hand, the value of double negation of undefined and null variant is false. And each variant without negation is showing the value that is not the boolean. Through this result, it turns out that if you use negation for the object, the undefined and null variant, you can get the boolean value. And the double negation just invert the value of single negation. Then, why should I use the double negation? If I want the boolean value, it is already possible to get it by the following if statement. Let's check this if statement in the console log. As expected, both results became false. It means that I could control the boolean value in if statement without using the negation. I've checked when should I use the double negation. The main aim of double negation is casting the value to boolean. But, if I want to get the boolean value whether it is undefined or null, it is possible to use the if statement just shown little while ago. So it is not necessary to use the double negation to get the boolean value for undefined or null variants. However, this is because undefined and null are automatically converted to the boolean value in the recent environment or browser. In the old environment, there was no definition of undefined, in this case, undefined is not converted to the boolean value automatically, as a result, if statement gets the error. To overcome this situation, the double negation seems to have been used. As my understanding, it would be beneficial to use the double negation, when I want to get the boolean value, not the value of undefined or null, like this example. Although it is possible to use the ternary operator for that aim like the following, the coding becomes shorter, if I use the double negation. Like this, I could get the boolean value, if I use the double negation. This can be used to set the value to the variant that must have the boolean value always. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please check my other videos and subscribe this channel, if you like.